In Hong Kong, the banking battle lines between old and new are being drawn out. It's just the latest Asian financial hub to roll out licenses to so-called virtual banks. But they aren't just going to financial companies. In Asia, it's big established tech firms that are threatening to crack open the industry. Chinese tech titans Alibaba and Tencent led the charge. Now even Japanese and South Korean messaging apps are also looking for ways to stash your cash. Alan John covers financial regulation in Asia. Elsewhere, the big tech giants are certainly in spending a lot of time on the financial services, but more on providing services to existing banks. Whereas here, the tech players are having banks branded under their own names, taking large equity stakes and making a big thing about the fact that they're a tech company and they're doing banking. One of the license winners in Hong Kong says tech companies might even have an edge. To, to operate online is not easy. So Zhonglan is the first online insurance company in China. So we had the hands-on experience to handle all this kind of uh, uh, security design so that a user don't need to be worried about the, the security, the privacy. It would be a big leapfrog for the industry, one that could leave the old giants in Asia behind. From the big incumbent bank's perspective, it's difficult because they've got large amounts of legacy technology systems. It's very hard for them to respond quickly to customers' changing needs because They've been trying to do this for the last 20, 30 years. They're certainly concerned. They're not saying we're all doomed, we give up, we'll go home now. But Asia, for some global banks, is where they make a huge amount of their money, particularly Hong Kong. HSBC is phenomenally profitable here. So is Standard Charters, like less of an extent, and Bank of China, Hong Kong. And so anything that hurts their profitability in Hong Kong is worrying from a group perspective. It's too early to tell if these companies will be disruptors on the scale of Amazon to retail or Uber to transport. But the number of physical bank branches here are already in steady decline, just as virtual banks have arrived.